Reese, what's it like for you going into this season? I mean, we know last year you had the snap count and everything like that. I mean, mm-hmm. huge, huge things are expected from you this season. Yeah. What's it like for you going in fully healthy, knowing you can do everything and, and, and you know, nothing can stop you? Yeah, um, you know, obviously the team, we have big expectations for ourselves and I always uh, have a big expectation for myself. But um, for me personally, just like I said, I want to be just be out there and be healthy again. And I know that if I can be healthy and, you know, play, be a three down back, then everything I want, I'm going to be able to do this season. So, um, you know, we're worrying about the team goals first and then the individual stuff will come with that. How do you feel about the potential of this offense, Brees, now that you've seen all of training camp, you saw three joint practices, um, you guys have kind of you got some time to work together? Yeah, it's uh, it's been cool to see it, see how we've grown and how we've gotten better with communication and anticipation and just, you know, knowing where each other are going to be um, and being, like I said, on our attention to detail so we can get from point A to point B and play as fast as possible. Um, you know, we've got some some really good big boys up front. Uh, very good guys on the perimeter. And then you got me, Braylon, Isaiah, Izzy um, in the backfield holding it down. So it's been cool to see how we've all challenged each other, but how we've all gotten better as a collective. Reese, when you look at, at what you went through after, during the first season and during that off season, when you look at back at that now, are you surprised at all by what you've been able to do since then? And, and how you're viewed as one of the elite running backs already in, in the league. Yeah, um, I look back at it now and just feel like there's nothing I can't do. You know, um, I had a lot of long days, a lot of long nights, um, a lot of wondering if I was going to be the same again and just little stuff like that. And uh, God willing, you know, I was able to, you know, work hard enough and um, it just took some time. And, you know, I feel like I'm better than ever right now. Um, and really, to me, I haven't really done anything in this league yet. So, you know, the hype and all that stuff's there. But for me, it's just having a standard for myself to, you know, every time I step out on the field, I want to be the best player out there. I want every team to know who number 20 is. So just uh, for me, like every week, I got to go out there with something to prove with a chip on my shoulder. Breeze, how do you view this opportunity going up against the 49ers on a national stage? Uh, you know, a team that was in the Super Bowl last year. For you guys to kind of see where you're at as an offense. Yeah, it's going to be um, a huge challenge, but it's also going to be very fun, um, you know, just to start off the season with the bang and with the big game. You know, uh, everybody's going to be watching. Everybody's going to be tuned in. So, you know, big time players make big time plays in a big time game. So, you know, it's just going to be a great challenge for us to see who's really going to step up to the plate when it, when it, when it's time. So I'm excited. Brees, what's the communication been like with Purdy lately? Um, you know, me and Brock, it's obviously it's game week, so we're not really focused on like communicating with each other, but, um, you know, me and him are always been like uber competitive with each other. So it's going to be fun out there for sure. Grace, were you, uh, obviously your cousin played for them. Were you a fan of the Niners or? Um, actually growing up, I was more of a college guy. So I liked like Nebraska, Ohio state, obviously, uh, Iowa state. And, um, so I wasn't, I didn't really have a. NFL team. I'm more so just like players growing up. What 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 have your conversations been like with him leading up to this game? Um, he's a, he's actually just like really respectful of just like my time and everything. So he'll always text me like good luck or uh, a joke or something like that. But he, uh, we won't go into too much depth because you know I have I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to lock in for the game and everything. So we'll definitely uh, text a little bit, like joke around about it and everything. But for the most part, you know, my family is real respectful of my time and knowing that I have to lock in and get in the right mindset for a football game. What do you think uh, teams missed on Purdy, you know, that, that made him go so late in the draft? Um, Just, uh, I'd say just like an ultimate leader, you know, a guy that, you know, always does things the right way and, um, you know, just a great leader of people just by the way he does things, by the way he uh, lives his everyday life. So just being around him for two years, two and a half years, um, it made me a better person. Um, like I said, just seeing how he lives his life, um, seeing how his faith is and, um, like I said, how he's the same guy every day, it just it rubs off on you and, uh, makes you want to be a better person, a better player. Um, obviously, he's a he's a, a husband now, so it just makes you want to be a better in all those aspects. Quincy has uh, talked about like you're you're helping him get ready for McCaffrey mm-hmm. uh, by doing some stuff after practice, stuff like that during camp. W- what was that like? What's you know what what's that look like? Yeah, it's been uh, fun to just be matching up with Quincy and um, some of our nickels and safeties, uh, just running routes and getting work with them because it's getting me better, but it's also getting them better. So every um, 
play that you know I have a I have an option router I'm lined up in the slot and stuff most of the time Quincy's guarding me so you know we're matching up and we're you know we're talking smack to each other every time one of us wins so um, it's definitely preparing um, I say he said it prepared him for McCaffrey and it's preparing me for the great defense and the great linebacking core they have over there so uh, definitely put us both in our A games and it's been cool to see us have our days when we're winning matchups and learning from our losses. Is McCaffrey someone you've studied recently? Yeah, uh, I've always watched him since I was in middle school. Um, you know, everybody knows about the uh, the game he had versus Iowa and the, uh, forget what bowl game he was, but, you know, just him taking an option route to the crib first play, um, him doing it in the return game, just little stuff like that. But for me, more so watching him, I like to watch him just to see how he has no wasted movement. And when he's running the ball or when he's running his routes, um, reading between his being zone and man, you know, he always makes the right read. It seems like he pretty much does everything right. So just seeing how he plays with minimal mistakes and great attention to detail. And like I said, he has no wasted movement. It's always been cool for me to have to sit there and watch that because it makes me want to, you know, implement that part into my game and just having minimal mistakes and no wasted movement so I could get from point A to point B as fast as possible.